So thanks for all the feedback on Zippy's full-size FPV quad build. I think you'll agree it's pretty awesome. So uh, while we were at the field that day, he also walked me through his little mini FPV quad build. Now this is the one I'm pretty excited about because as you know, to get into FPV it's pretty expensive. But in this case, he has a mini quad that has a small transmitter, small FPV cam, which unfortunately he was unable to bring to the field that day because of a crash, but uh, at least you can see the design and let Zuki talk through some of the things that he did to shave weight. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's take a look. So pretty much what my intent was, uh, was to make an FPV quad that actually was a nano quad. And until yesterday it did have an FPV camera and a, a circular polarized antenna on top, but I accidentally put a three cell through a one cell video transmitter and fried the board so unfortunately I had to uh, print out a new top for it and just make it to where I could make the segment. This also was in a crash yesterday which actually I'm still using the same frame. It was uh, some of the legs popped off but only one of them broke so only one of them is re reprinted. Um, so when I first designed this I actually what I always do is I take what I want to make and I figure out what I'm gonna what it's gonna weigh and I find a motor and I find the specs to find out how much thrust I'm going to get for each motor and then multiply that by four and make sure that I at least have like a two to one thrust to weight ratio. And so that's what I pretty much did with this and this was the first thing ever 3D printed and designed. So weight wise what are we looking at? Uh, less than 200 grams. Okay all in. Battery? Yes because okay. with the camera, nice. the transmitter, the uh, circular polarized antenna and the extra battery for the video transmission it was 200 grams. Oh, even. so right now it's lighter than that because oh, you yeah, don't have the, your Because I took off all okay. the extra stuff. Okay. So, and I got eight minutes of flight time with all that stuff on there. So I'm sure now I could probably get maybe like 10 minutes of flight time. And this is the Multi-Wii Nano board, right? Yeah. Okay. Multi-Wii okay. Nano board. And I, I unsoldered all the connectors and everything. And like you did with, the, uh, with your new quad, I actually took the ESC leads off and I soldered, soldered the motor straight to the ESC. Everything is soldered right into the board. I didn't use any kind of uh, servo connectors on it. I'm using a uh, satellite DSM-2 receiver because it has a port for it. So what you have to do is you actually have to bind it to an existing receiver that you have for the uh, memory selection that you would want. And once you take it off and plug it into here, it automatically be bound to your radio. And so you lose a lot of the weight that you'll be adding by adding all these extra cables for your uh, receiver. So you, you did everything possible to reduce the amount of weight, the all yeah. up weight of this quad. All right, exactly. let's see it. There's, a, right. there's a, a decent breeze out here too, so. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's hard to keep in the frame. Sorry, here's that's I'm gonna okay. do a pass right here. Jeez. It's pretty agile. It's very fast, and I'll bring. I just wanted to show how it can pretty much take off and go. But I'll just bring it. Uh, I apologize to those viewing that this thing is hard to so quick. And it's got plenty of power. And so I've got this only activated to where it'll do auto level. Um, because intentionally I wanted to do FPV with it, I didn't want it to be able to flip over on its side whenever I'm flying FPV. Right. But now, I pretty much just use it as an aerobatic quad, which it kind of sucks because I can't get to the USB port. <laughs> I didn't design that into it. So my next design, if I do redesign this, I'll make it to where you can access the uh, USB port and you can uh, adjust all the settings on it. So you can do flips and all kinds of different things. Because I know this thing would do crazy flips. Cause well, I, the thing I think is cool about this is you don't see a lot of minis with FPV setup and gear. And if you got that all rigged up, I think we need to do a follow up. Yeah, I need, I need to order a new board and then uh, get this thing back up in the air with FPV. Okay, we're gonna just do a throttle up and I'm yeah. gonna try to keep it in the frame. So go ahead. Full throttle. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that didn't really... I got it a good bit until... And here it comes down again. Nice. And that is Zuki's mini quad.